Hi there, I'm Robert Reeves, and this is your weekly spiritual guidance for the week ahead. Now, if you are a regular for these videos, you'll notice I've had a little bit of a background upgrade. <laughs> I thought it was time that I put a little bit of a makeover in the background here uh, and change things up. So you can just imagine how much fun I had <laughs> finding the strangest looking bottles <laughs> to put on these shelves behind me. You know, as you know, uh, I love doing videos and I just love sharing information. So I put in a bit of extra time and effort with Andrew and we created uh, a whole new space for me to be able to bring you even more videos. So right now I'm actually filming a brand new online class called Peaceful Protection. Uh, so if you've ever wanted to know how to protect yourself from negative energies, but not push out any love or stop your angel guidance from coming through, then I'll pop the link uh, in the description under this video and you can find out more about it there. But let's have a look and see which one of the cards comes up this week. Of course, I'm using my trusty Flower Therapy Oracle cards. <laughs> and so let's have a look and see what comes up. You know, it's the little things that make me happy. And one thing that I'm really excited about is that I get to have candles again. <laughs> if I couldn't use them uh, at the previous location where I was doing my videos. So I'm so excited that I get to have those again. You know, they're just filling up this room with this beautiful energy and it's just gonna make this reading even more powerful for you. <laughs> so let's see, which card do the angels want us to see this week? Okay, I'm going with this card on the top. Uh, we have the red rose, which is open your heart. You know, it's a beautiful card and it tells us on so many different levels that we need to focus back on love. There's so many things that are going on every single day, which try to pull us in the direction of fear. It tries to make us unhappy. It tries to make us think that we aren't good enough or that we aren't complete if we don't have a particular something. And so when the red rose comes up, it tells you that you are beautiful and you are perfect and you are loved right now. You know, there's so many beautiful qualities about you that you may not even see. Yeah, but your friends and your loved ones will tell you them and will try to push it away and say, no, 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 I'm, I'm not that great. You know, but you are. You know, you're this awesome person who is fulfilling your mission right now you know, because you're being called to do something. You know, you're feeling that courage within you and maybe even that little bit of fear that's going, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this job. <laughs> but there's that part of you that pushes forward anyway. You know, I have no doubt that you've gone through some struggles, that you've gone through tough times or traumas or devastation that's really been this moment where you could have just given up completely, but you didn't. You kept going. And by this card coming up, the angels are saying that you have so much more to give. You know, don't think that you're done yet because there's so much love within your soul that everyone else can benefit from. And so we all call upon you to start sharing that love, start spreading that beautiful gift that you have inside and allow other people to benefit from that. It's a beautiful, beautiful gift that you have. And I really hope you embrace it and you share it with other people too. So I hope you have a beautiful and an empowering week this week and may all of your dreams come true.